how do you best prepare for an interview? Well, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of students who kind of play this, you know, uh, approach of, let me think of every question they could possibly ever ask me and come up with the perfect answer to it and then memorize all of those questions and my answers and walk in and try to recite the best one act play ever. Um, don't do that. Uh, what I would strongly urge you to do is when you're applying to a company, first off, you should know when you're applying to a company or an organization what that company values. And, um, and companies have core values. Um, when I was in consulting, my company that I worked for had six core values. And I can't remember them all, but I remember one of them was uh, stewardship, right? Stewardship was, uh, as a consulting company, you know, it's very important that we practice good stewardship. And what that meant was, you know, working to develop the person who worked by you, you know, side by side with you. So managers were supposed to take time to coach and mentor people. And if you could help somebody do their work, you helped them. They could help you later. And it was all about this kind of pay it forward attitude because if we did that and practiced that, we would ultimately be more successful as a team, as a project, as a company. And I really loved that core value. I love that teamwork aspect. Um, and so, you know, in that example, what I would have done if I had practiced this better, and I just went into this interview and I didn't practice this when I was doing my interview, but if I were to go in, I would say, okay, the, one of the core values is stewardship. I and mean, one of them was one global network. Another was, uh, you know, I, I forget all these different ones they had. I would go in there and I would think, okay, first off, do I really care about these things? And if you do, then you know you've applied to the right company. If you find yourself looking at these core values and you don't care, then you might question why are you applying to that company. But let's say you do, you know that you want to work there, um, you know, because a lot of times you're picking a company based on the brand or the people you've met or people, the things you've heard about, the kind of things they do, the work they do. Um, but either way, you found yourself applying to this company and going to interview. Um, I would highly recommend that you go to their website and look up uh, their core values or look up their mission statement and then think about how you embody that. Um, so an example of stewardship, right? I would go, oh, look, stewardship. Well, I love that, right? I love that because, you know, I was personally, you know, given a great opportunity when I went to UT uh, to have great mentors in my coding classes. Um, and uh, teachers who took the time to really explain things to me uh, because I wasn't so good at coding the first time out. And I remember that was such an important thing to me that, you know, had that not had that kind of st those, those stewards to be humble enough to give me their time and coach me, um, then I may not have ever fallen in love with technology or, you know, code. So, um, so that's an example that shows how I embody those things. Now, when you're in the interview, they're going to ask you questions like, tell me a time you failed. Tell me about a team you've worked on. Tell me about a leadership opportunity you've been on. And those are your opportunities to really come back around to some example that is a true example that shows how you embody those core values. So an example of they would say, hey, you know, you, um, you were an officer in this organization, Clint. Tell us about that. I say, well, uh, in that position, you know, um, I was expected to, you know, have, you know, seven different events that we ran. Uh, but to do that, I had to have a team of people and I had to trust and rely on those people. And so, um, so one of the core values of your company is stewardship. Um, we practiced that a lot in my position where I would sit with my chairs and we would talk about expectations they had, what my expectations were, and we really tried to raise them up and empower them to do the work, but I would be there as a support, but not as a micromanager. And it really gave them more, you know, excitement and empowerment to really do well in that in their jobs. And ultimately my directorship was really, you know, successful because I, you know, wrote, you know, I was a good steward to my team. I didn't just try to do everything on my own. I didn't, you know, which is some people think is the right answer. They say, oh, what happens when you work with a tough team member? You say, oh, I just take all the work on myself. You know, that's not sustainable, especially as you get higher up in management. Um, so that's an example where I explained something off my resume, my position. I didn't brag about myself, but I really talked more about how I embodied this core value in that position. So how do you best prepare for an interview? I mean, it's at almost, maybe I shouldn't say this analogy, but it's a lot like dating in the sense that like, there's one person on this side of the table and there's another person on this side of the table. Do you have anything in common? And what are those things in common? And how do you, 
how do you draw closer to each other on those things? Um, and the same thing with a company. If a company cares about stewardship, how do you embody stewardship? And then use that use that example. So when you're pointing at things on the resume, don't just point at talk randomly about these positions or what you did. Talk about what you did and how it embodied the core values of that company. I think that is a great way to um, to really make yourself stand out. It shows also initiative. Uh, it shows initiative that you actually read up on the company and you know something about it. And honestly, if these companies have a good recruiting process they are going to be looking for people who embody the core values because that will be part of their mission as a recruiting team. They know what's going to fit in their culture and they're going to be looking for people who fit within that. So, and, and here's the other thing too. If you figure out that you are not a good culture fit, don't waste their time and don't waste your time. Feel free to walk away from that after you've done this. If you've assessed and said, you know what, that my core values don't match theirs, feel free to walk away, you know? Um, all right, if there's any further questions on that one, post them in the comments below, I'll try to answer. Thank you.